Zach, like, you know, this is like your big night here at the That's New right. York International Film uh, Video Festival. Uh, now, what film are we here to see uh, of yours? Tonight we're here to see Quench. And, uh, and what's going on with Quench? Uh, Quench is my second feature. Kind of best can be described as a uh, modern gothic tragedy. Um, I would say if you're a, it's hard to compare it to other films, but I would say if you're a fan of films from filmmakers like Stanley Kubrick, Roman Polanski, Quench would be a film that you'd be interested in seeing. Now, were you a goth in your in your early days? Or I was why not. Goth? I was not. I actually saw a, a documentary on HBO a few years ago that was a little bit about the goth community, and I thought that that was really an interesting subculture that we've never seen portrayed honestly on film before. Whenever we see people that are goth in films, it's usually really low-level B horror films, and they're usually treated as very, being very evil. But I found in sort of more documentaries and meeting these people that they generally seem to be just very artistic, creative, nice people that just tend to, uh, that like to express themselves externally. And I just thought that was an interesting subculture. And we're going to try to tackle that as something that we've never seen on film before. So it's been a great experience and you've learned a lot about the goth community. That's right. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. It's, it's been a really interesting experience. And we've been having a lot of support from the goth community as well. And from people that, that don't know anything about goth. I think that's what's great about this film is that it sort of takes an outsider's perspective of that culture. So you don't have to be of that culture or know anything about it to enjoy the film. All right. And you've got some pretty big like actors and some players in the game. We did. We did. Uh, we uh, are leading the film is Bo Barrett, and he's been in some films as uh, Marie Antoinette and uh, Levels in Los Angeles, and I, I just sort of met Bo through a blind casting call out here, thought he was great for the film, uh, saw his tape and wanted him immediately. So, yeah, very happy my choice. And so how do you feel about tonight, like, you know, with uh, just about to, like, show your film? A little nerve-wracking, but I'm excited, you know. Uh, this is uh, the first film I'll ever have playing at a, at a, at a, uh, in a theater in L.A., and uh, when I lived in L.A., the Sunset Five was always my favorite theater here, so it's very exciting for me to have a film playing in this theater. Well, where are you from now? I live in Indiana right now, which is where we shot the film. Welcome to LA. Thank and what's you. your experience of the festival so far? It's been great. I've been seeing a lot of great stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about being a part of the festival. What kind of great stuff have you seen so far? Um, I really enjoyed the Manson movie that I saw. Uh, I really uh, checked out the documentary, uh, My Name is Alan, I Paint Pictures. I thought that was really well done, really interesting. So yeah, and it's great to see just uh, an eclectic group of things at this festival. Have you enjoyed the after parties? Uh, I have, I have. Went to the Cabana Club the first night. It was great. I've never really been to a Hollywood club before or experienced a Hollywood party. And it, it's uh, everything that I thought it would be. And it was, it was a lot of fun. Cool. Well, let's like have some fun with your screening. That's right. And then after, we'll see like what reactions we get. That's right. Sounds good. How does that feel? Sounds great. Sounds great. Good. Good.